Coal restoration is a labor-intensive process. Here Ken Niedemeyer is providing a training for volunteers and explaining how the workforce will be structured in teams so that they can coordinate their work. Ken also provides demonstrations so the volunteers know how to harvest the coral from the coral nursery and then also how to affix the coral to the reef substrate with epoxy. Here Ken's daughter Julia is teaching young volunteers how to uh, mix epoxy and also clean the substrate to affix corals to the uh, new restoration site. Here in the coral nursery, Ken is working directly with a team of high school students and has selected some cultured corals that are one year old for transplant. In another area of the coral nursery, the yellow team is cleaning the disc of some selected cultured corals and also documenting their length. Ken Niedemeyer prepares each transplant site by identifying the site so the team can find the site. Here is the red team site with a little ball above the site and also puts a marker in the substrate so the participants know where to epoxy a coral to the substrate to the reef. The placement of the transplanted coral at this transplant site is important because of the genotype has been identified and the ultimate objective of this coral restoration project is to bring together corals of different genotype to re-establish a breeding colony and let the corals do most of the work of restoring the corals to the South Florida reef track. Here we have volunteers working together to affix some staghorn corals from the nursery to the transplant site with the underwater epoxy. As you can see by this short video, coral restoration is difficult and intense work. It's very labor intensive, so we can always use a lot of volunteers that want to get hands-on with the coral restoration process. Also, in the coral nursery, there's a lot of maintenance and a lot of documentation that is necessary to document the coral's growth and its progress and its health. Another way you can help is through the Coral Restoration Foundation's Adopt-A-Coral program. Check it out at coralrestoration.org.